In 2021, President Joe Biden declared April as Second Chance Month for formerly incarcerated persons who have re-entered their communities. This is an opportunity to recognize the challenges that they face and celebrate how Bay Area community shows up in ensuring everyone has the tools they need to rebuild full lives with dignity, security, and agency in their work, home, and communities. Over 600,000 people are released from incarcerating institutions every year. Now, despite having served their time, the stigma of a criminal record can hold future opportunities in confinement indefinitely. I'm speaking from personal experience. This stigma impedes access to employment, housing, higher education, civil duties, community support, the list goes on. While one of the goals of the justice system is to reduce recidivism, the lack of support for people returning to their communities spark a devastating cycle that can lead to future involvement in the injustice system. We cannot build whole thriving communities rooted in equity and joy without second chances. The truth is, the work of welcoming our neighbors back home is crucial to building a Bay Area that works for everyone. We are so grateful for organizations like our Equity at Work Council members, creating restorative opportunities and programs, also known as CROP, and Rubicon programs for their efforts to create a Bay Area that invests in people over punishments. Through their advocacy and outreach, initiatives like Ready for Life and the Richmond Reentry Success Center have helped rebuild communities, reunite neighbors, and restart lives. This month, we join CROP and Rubicon programs in encouraging you to educate yourself about the challenges people face with reentry. Help us advocate for second chances. After achieving healing and rehabilitation, people who are formerly incarcerated should have the same opportunities as everyone else to learn and earn a family-sustaining wage, live in safe and secure housing, and be recognized for their true and whole potential as human beings. In community, Brianna and Rob.